What is a polymer? by kscience.com. A polymer is a large molecule made from lots of small monomers bonded together. These blue circles represent the monomers and a monomer is just a small molecule. And these lines between the monomers represent the covalent bonds which hold the monomers together. So to summarize, a polymer is a large molecule made from lots of monomers, which are small molecules. It's important to understand the prefix poly in polymer just means many. So when we look at the definition of polymer, lots of, you can think of this being poly, lots of monomers. And the suffix mer in polymer just means monomers or molecules. So when we look at the definition, which includes the words monomers, we can see how a polymer is just a large molecule made from lots of monomers. We now know a monomer is just a small molecule represented by these blue circles. And a monomer is just a small reactive molecule, for example, ethene. When we look at the word monomer, we can see the prefix mono just means one. And we already know the suffix mer means monomer or molecule. So a monomer is one molecule, a small reactive molecule. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So you need to know the monomer ethene forms the polymer polyethene. So what happens is we need the monomer ethene represented by this displayed formula, C2H4, and we need thousands of monomers. These thousands of monomers are added together in a reaction called addition polymerization to form the long chain polyethene, which is represented by this displayed formula. Notice how there are now single covalent bonds between each carbon atom. And this shows a small section of the long chain of polyethene. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In another example, this displayed formula, propene, C3H6, represents the thousands of monomers needed to be added together to form the polymer polypropene, represented by this small section of the long chain of polypropene. We can see how the main chain consists of carbon atoms with single covalent bonds between them, and every two carbon atoms consists of a CH3 group and three hydrogen atoms due to the monomer being propene. Now you need to be able to remember the properties and uses of each polymer. The polymer polyethene is strong, transparent and is an easy to shape plastic so it can be used as bags, bottles and bins. And the properties of polypropene is that it is very strong, it's a tough plastic so it can be used as carpets, to make milk crates, and to make ropes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.